Welcome to another hands-on art video. Today we are going to be making tissue paper snails. So as you can see, I have a piece of cardstock, I have some glue, I have what will become my antenna, I have some googly eyes, a pencil, and of course, lots of tissue paper. So you're gonna start off by drawing a big swirl for the snail's shell. And make sure the lines aren't too close together because you want to leave some space to cut it out at the end. And at the end of your big swirl, you can go ahead and draw a little snail face. Um, and for now, I'm going to put little dots where I'm going to put the eyes later, but don't worry about that right now. The next step is to take your glue and you're going to drizzle the glue all over the shell of the snail. Now make sure you don't use all your glue because we still have a fair amount to do. Um, we're gonna do two layers of the tissue paper. It's okay to get a little messy. Now I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm going to lay down a layer of it. There's my layer one. Now I'm gonna go back and drizzle some more glue on top for layer two. And if you want to use less tissue paper than I did so that you can see more of what you put down, feel free. Remember, there's no wrong way to really do this. All right, I'm going to let it sit and dry for a minute. And while it's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put my googly eyes on my little snail. So take your googly eye and just gently dip it in some of the glue. You can also use um, the edge of a pipe cleaner to do this if you're nervous about getting your hands goopy. You can always go back and color in your snail friend with a marker, um, any color you like. But for today, I'm going to leave mine white. And now that my glue has dried, I'm going to take some scissors and cut out my snail. So I went um, with a fair amount of layers, so it's kind of hard to see where I drew the swirly. So I'm gonna do my best to guesstimate. Um, so you may wanna make it a little bit thinner than I did if you want to stick exactly to what you drew. The important thing is that you cut it out in a swirl not necessarily keeping to those lines. All right, I've done the initial cut around the outside and now I'm gonna go in and cut through the swirlies. And you'll have a fair amount of scraps of paper so you may need to have a cleaning up moment after this art project. The longer that you let your glue dry, the easier it will be to do this part of the project. Beautiful! The last step is, of course, to stick on the antenna to your snail. So take whatever leftover glue you have, stick your pipe cleaner into it, and stick it to the top of your snail. Now pipe cleaners are a little bit heavy, so you're going to want to really let it sit for a while before you try to move around this project. So with the pipe cleaner antenna, you have three different options. You can attempt to glue it, although the glue is not super sticky, so they may not stick very well. But if you are leaving this um, on display, then you can probably find a way to prop it up so that it works. You can also take a piece of tape and tape the pipe cleaners to the back of your snail, or you can cut a little hole and then thread the pipe cleaner through. So you have a lot of freedom, and at the end of the day, if you decide, you know what, I like my snail without antenna, that is also okay. And remember, you can always go back and color in with a marker the body of your snail, or even you could go back and make a tissue paper body for your snail. Up to you, whatever your heart desires, but that is the tissue paper snail project. <laughs> 